have tough questions for you, but uh, yeah, you that's, what you're, that's what you're good for if you're PIO. No, I don't think so. Not today. This Ridley O sponsored by InfinitCoin.com. to uh, wrap with me now? Uh, to be better? No, I don't know. I don't think so. What, 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 Your PIO, you, right? Who are you from? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. Uh-huh. I live here, but I, I do stuff all over the state. I actually don't do near as much stuff in Bedford as I do in Concord or, or Manchester. But uh, I'm like a poor man's TV station with a libertarian bias. You should know that up front. Oh, I see. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Maybe that, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. So. I have tough questions for you, but uh, yeah, that's, what you're, that's what you're good for if you're PIO. No, I don't think so. Not today. I have tough questions for you, but uh, yeah, you that's, what you're, that's what you're good for if you're PIO. No, I don't think so. Not today. Okay. I got enough to deal with, with the drill. All right. Okay. I'm just going to start asking and let you walk away from me in that case. <laughs> I'm just going to start asking and let you walk away from me. The number one question I would have would be, is it right to use federal funds taken from people in other parts of the country to fund your program? I assume that many of the folks operating here are uh, either volunteers or very part-time. Okay, so CERT stands for Community Emergency Response Team. So I think this may be the National Guard PIO, uh, and we'll see if I get a chance to talk to him. I put in a request to, and you know how that can go. So, I guess locals and whatnot are being allowed to head in there. That's good. This is going you know, into the drill area. It appears to be an area that's normally got public access. Oh, yeah, I'm in trouble. And this is what I'm wondering if I'll ever get in terms of interviewing a National Guard guy. A typical thing that would happen is that the word would spread, probably starting with this gentleman on the right there, uh, brown hair, <laughs> that uh, the uh, journalist here is asking relatively hostile questions that maybe you shouldn't talk to him. I don't know if that's what will happen, but it has to be the thing that I think could happen. You're definitely in the right place to make that happen. The truth is, I'm carrying a secret, and that is that I need to leave by 4. I don't want anyone here to know that, because I don't want them to delay me until 4. They may think they have to delay me all day, in which case they won't delay me at all. Anyway, so that's one of the reasons I don't operate in Bedford uh, too much, is that, uh, you know, uh, I live there. What happens if you anger the Bedford Fire Department, because you're doing a story about the fire department, and you ask a question they don't want to hear, uh, does your home wait a little longer before it um, gets a system? I don't know the answer to that question. I'm not sure I want to find out. Those are all volunteers. Infinite Coin, the cryptocurrency that aims to provide cheap peer-to-peer infrastructure in developing countries. Their motto, real money for real people. IFC is traded on beater.com. That means it's easily converted into Bitcoin. I accepted Infinite Coin for this ad. That means you can too. Infinite Coin.
Dot com.